hi guys welcome back to another tutorial today i'll be showing you how to create gradient backgrounds using css first things i'll create a new file and i'll call it index.html then i'll create another file and i'll call it styles.css then inside the index i'll create html structure and i'll just call it gradient backgrounds and then just below the title i'll link our css and put their styles.css and then maybe in the body let's just say hello world so this is what we have so when i open it with the live server let's see this is our hello world so now it's time to write the gradients so i'll go in our styles.css now there are different types of gradients so i'll start with the linear gradients Linear gradient basically creates along a straight line. You can specify the directions and the colors to be used in that particular gradient. So now I will say body, I'll give it a background. And here I will specify linear gradient. Then from here I will, I will specify bottom, comma, and then give it a color. So in this case, let me say FF7E5F. And then comma and then i give it the second color say f e b4 7b so you can see this is how our linear gradient is going to work out so i can also specify this is top to bottom so to make it left to right i'll just say instead of saying i'll just say to right i'll just copy the same style so let me comment on this and then i'll just change here if i want it to come from left to right i'll just change here to right and you can see how it comes around and then also i can specify it to be linear but now diagonal so let me just copy the comments here and this one is left to right and this is how it looks then i'm going to specify again diagonal for diagonal i'm just going to specify here degrees that we are going to put our gradient so you can say for example 45 degrees and that is it so basically this is how to work around with linear gradients then we have what we call again radio gradients this basically creates a gradient that radiates from an origin so for example we are still working around the body so let me comment on this so with radial gradients what we are going to do is we shall change linear to to radio and then yeah we can specify instead of dig we can say maybe circle which is our starting point and you can see that it is start from somewhere when i put here you can see the starting point is somewhere in here and then it radiates outwards and then another way we can just change from circle to ellipse and we just specify it here you can see that that's how it will radiate so i'll just put here in the comments circle and ellipse so let's take it back to circle now we have looked at radio gradients now they are also what we call repeating gradients for repeating gradients we can just say body and then we say background and then specify repeating for example radio gradient Let me remove that and we can say circle comma and then we put all the different colors that we want wherever example let's say ef let's say ff 7e5 so here let's place a comma then we can do the same color the same color then we specify the number of pixels for example 10 pixels comma then we specify let's put another color which is feb47 and then specify 10 pixels and then repeat the same color and specify it to 20 pixels so you can see how it comes out this is what we call repeating gradient and it is so beautiful you can create patterns out of it using css gradients so you can also create multiple gradients in css but this is just a basic introduction to css gradients i hope you enjoyed the video please let me know which is your favorite gradient is it, is it linear radio or repeating gradient let's try it out and let me know see you in another video